everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello, hello. So I just came back from Japan and I thought that I should be doing a Japan haul with you guys. So I have a lot of products here. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is this bag of items. So I think this one should be the Japan haul number one, which will talk about um, Japanese like cosmetics, um, like the Watsons, um, like the boots kind of thing. So um, and I hope that it gives you guys an idea on how or like what's on your wish list, what type of things to buy or try um, when you're in Japan. So first bag, um, this one was a really last minute purchase um, because I was buying my stuff and everything. Then my sister was like, hey, you know, did you actually help me get the stuff that I wanted? And I was like, oh my god, I totally forgot about it. And then, um, you know, the thing about my sister is that she is always... Uh, when you ask her, you know, I'm going to Japan, do you want anything? She would be like, oh, I'll give it to you, you know, and um, even till the last day, sometimes she didn't even tell you anything. And then when you were there in um, Japan or in that country, and then she would have to tell you that, oh, you know, I actually wanted to buy this, 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 and this. And it's like, you know, you just didn't register because you're already prepping yourself for the item, you know. But it's a pretty last minute. I got it on the day um, just before I need to depart. Um, for the airport so yes these are the items right so first thing is um mascaras so this is the mascara that has been raved about um in korea a lot um and apparently in japan as well so yeah this is the kiss is it kiss me but this is heroin's make um super waterproof mascara so this is the version okay so this one is volume and curl this one is long and cold i personally really really like the long and cold because i feel like um with the mascara it has already had some kind of volumizing effect so i just need it to be extra extra long and this one i'm wearing today um and if you curl it properly it looks really really good um, yeah, but my sister preferred to have a little more volume. So you say, although you like this a lot and majority of people took this, um, I'm going to try this as well. So this is the two and both are in black. I really wanted to get one in brown but I don't know, I just didn't get it. So yeah, but got this one, the super waterproof one. They are a pain to remove. So I got this. <laughs> so yeah, apparently this is a thing um, in a lot of, a lot of the Taiwan Nice beauty community. So they actually use this to remove the very difficult to remove waterproof mascara, especially from Japanese brands. And this one is from the same brand as the mascara, um, which is Harry Mix. So I thought that you know it would be in synergy kind of thing. So yeah, I got this one and I've seen people use it. I think it's quite good. So this one basically you apply on top and it melts all your mascara so that it actually doesn't how would I say like it doesn't you don't need to use your oil makeup remover to go and like you know kind of like rub it to get it in or just put there for a moment you just put it on and it doesn't sting your eyes and then after that for a little while you can use your micellar water to just remove everything or your cleansing with to remove everything and everything just came off like this so I think this is a good thing to try and because I am approaching uh, I'm already in my late 20s so um, I'm trying not to tuck at this area delicate area too much so I actually bought this one and because I bought this for myself um, and I bought this for my sister my friend who went with me actually also bought one for herself to try because in Singapore given the humidity we have to use waterproof mascaras because if not your lashes will start to droop so well I don't know how people can survive with um, non waterproof mascara in Singapore but basically for me for my sister and for my friend all three of us we always felt like non-waterproof mascara doesn't hold the curl up very well although they are very good to remove and often than not they do smudge a little bit because of non how non-waterproof it is yeah so moving on next i have this this is the mode liner by flow fushi this is the one that was i think so called like raved after pony uses it pony from pony's makeup um, but this is like the new packaging like the the ones that are I don't know, like they released it when I was there. So basically, it's the same hexagon kind of sign. Um, but this one has special packaging. They look like this. So they are black. And then they have like the pink color. And they have the red corresponding to the packet package. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see. Because it's going to blind. Like, can you see this? This red thing. It corresponds with the color. And some other colors that... 
are available like pink, yellow, white, blue, etc. etc. This khaki colour as well, burgundy as well. Um, so then different colours have different combinations. So some, this one is pink, then this one is the extra blue colour, etc. etc. So yeah, it's the same thing, I believe. It costs the same. Uh, maybe it's just like a new packaging or something like that. But this is like called the Yuzu by Flo Fushi. So I think they are the same. Um, probably just enhance or like you know when people want to package the stuff so this one looks very very nice in fact like really really like it, it looks very good so yeah I got the brown black for my sister and the black because she she usually used black but for me the moment I changed to brown I couldn't go back to black anymore so yeah um, and the one I'm currently using is brown and then I feel like that brown is a little bit more on the red redder tones so I wanted something that is more like a like a brown, brown, like a true dark deep brown. So they actually have brown black, which is very, very, very dark, dark brown, which almost looks like black, but less harsh. Less harsh. So that's what I feel like. So I actually bought this for myself, but this was for my sister. And then I bought this. So this is the acne pad. So usually people just use the one from can't remember. Um, the one from Korean. So um, my sister has been using Next Care for a while, and I they don't have Next Care there. So I saw this, I picked this up, and yeah, you know why not give it a go? And then um, after that, I also got this. Yes, so this is the highly hyped um, like hyaluronic acid like ampoule essence. So basically, you just drop two drops into whatever skincare products you have and they are supposed to enhance the hyaluronic levels in it and then after that um, retains moisture better so this one is 500 yen mm. so yeah um, it's about maybe 625 Singapore dollars in Singapore you get it from BHU or from 990 and it's cheaper to get online like from Q10, Shopee etc but with the shipping it's about $9 and so I mean you can find a cheaper deal but if you're in Japan you might not just get it and you can get it for tax free. So 500 yen. Okay, I'm not sure how much is this, but the mascaras are a thousand dollars, a thousand yen each. And this one is about 850 yen. So yep. And then the eyeliners are a thousand five yen each. And then moving on, lastly, I got like candy because I just wanted to eat the gummy. And then last I got this one. So this is the can make chick um like cream cheek stuff. So this is a lip and cheek gel from Canmake. I'm not sure you guys can see because the lights are pretty strong. So basically this is it. Um, they actually have the round version but that's like the older version. This is the newer one and I actually the first time when I went my friend got it. I totally forgot about this one and then the next few ones that I went to they don't have this one at all and to the one the last one that my sister went to I had that and I got it. So this is the normal color number six. When I apply it when I try to install it looks very it's very pigmented in a way that it gives good color payoff, but it's not like very thick. It is not like super heavy. It looks very, very clear. You get what I mean? Like it looks very clear. You can look through to the skin, like your skin picks through, but at the same time, it has colors on it. So I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, it has SPF 24 and PA. Plus. Wow! Okay, but yeah, so I'm gonna give it a try. I mean, if it's good. Probably I will, you will see it in my favorite video or probably you will see it in, maybe I should do like the update video, right? So at least you guys know like after what I bought, these are the things that are good to use. Yeah, but yeah. So basically, that is one back down. Finished. Ho oh, ho. Oh, next bag. So this one is the bag that I got um, first um, when I was there on the first day, like the first clear day that we have, um, yeah, which is day two, right, so this is the mask, I'm not sure you guys can see it, is, yeah, um, this product, this is a face mask, so each box has about five pieces, and I tried, um, and from, according to a YouTuber, she said that, um, this one, when she used it, she did, she did see, like, um, results like it really did kind of improve and brighten her skin maybe by one or two sheets but she's unsure if she stopped using it will the effect last so I'm not so sure I bought it I bought one to try and I really wanted to try when I was in the hotel yeah so you know like if I want I can restock on it but then again they have these bags that you're not supposed to open and if you open it then you know you might have to pay the consumption tax which you got tax free for and I was like <gasps> you know I don't want to risk it so I 
didn't use it. So I, I should just use it, you know, honestly, because I feel like you know, maybe this is good. You know, maybe this is good stuff. But yeah. So I bought this. So this one did win the like I don't know, some silver award, some Japan quality stuff. So I'm gonna try it and if it's good, you know, I'll let you guys know. Next. I bought this, this is the D-Up I'm not sure is it called Dupe or D-Up or D-U-P But basically this is like the eyelash um, glue I love this one all along You know, if you guys are telling me that You know, duos are very good And yada 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 This one is actually even better um, I used the original version And I wanted to, you know, get a backup Because sometimes it's a little bit old already So I got this one And what makes me feel like I have to bite the bullet And just get it because of its packaging this Hello Kitty and it's pink so got it next okay this product is really really new and it's really really interesting okay so actually so has been around for quite some time I believe but um this time I really tried it out and I'm really impressed so the original packaging of this one is supposed to be like a blue like a medium mid blue color kind of color this is a limited edition packaging um so when I tried it in store it immediately becomes so powdery smooth it doesn't feel powdery but when you feel it it feels like it's powdery smooth and immediately all those pores the lines on the hands are immediately like reduced, like you don't see anything anymore and then me and my family are like whoa we are blown away so we actually went ahead and purchased one each so I'm like whoa you know anyway this is 900 yen this is 1200 yen so it's quite expensive but we shall try and see so basically it's like some this is an oil block base so basically it kind of um, improves your pores it has oil control maybe up to 24 hours is what they wrote here so we shall see the mask, I'm not sure how much this mask is um, And um, if anything, I will write that down Because I don't have to reset now with me So I'll write this down and in, the, in the comment section down below In the info bar And you guys can go and check it out And then I bought this nail polish You know, at first I thought this is a nail polish But this is a gel polish So you have to um, like UV And I should have gotten the USB UV light And there was like one finger, so a really really small one, like portable And the other one is the Papa Rapa You know, the collection, I'm not sure I'm gonna leave a, a picture down so you know what I'm talking about So it's basically like a small foldable UV thing It's very very compact Like the USB one is just one finger The one you can put at least five finger in But it's like this small Which I think is and then this flat So I think that's really really good But yeah, so this one I really like it because You know, can you see this thing? It's very jelly like So the colour is exactly like this Like this kind of colour Like jelly translucent type And I love it So I got it Anyway, this is called Clear Ruby The colour and on the display, they put like this gold glitter on top to make a nail art, like a Japanese nail art kind of thing. Um, I love it, but it's quite expensive for a nail polish, I remember. I'm um, not sure about the price, you know, so... Yeah, but this one is made in China. Yeah, but yeah, this kind of thing. So anyway, um, yeah, so it's expensive, so I only bought one. Yeah, but just wanted to show because I love the kind of like jelly type of nail kind of color. I love it. And then I got this one. So you know, recently I have found like my favorite favorite cushion, not cushion like beauty sponge. I got the Industry Mochi Puff. I love it. It was so good, so soft. Oh, I can't get over it. Yeah, but they have give a lot of good reviews before. I've seen this a lot, um, and I decided to get it and try. You know, like why not? This is quite. Um, reasonably priced as well So um, Yeah it's called the Jelly Touch Sponges Sponges Forgot how much was that But um, Yeah so Trying it Next I got this This is from My Lash This is not from Oprah I saw one of the um, Youtubers say This is from Oprah This is not from Oprah This is from My Lash It looks like that So The good thing about this Is I actually used it oh, A few times When I was there because I didn't bring any mascara so it looks like that and the popular thing is of the wand like it's very very like slim it's very similar to the Clinique one it's also very similar to the the MAC blue one the MAC play is it? mascara so what I like about this is that um, it really gives your lashes very individually like long lashes but it's not as volumizing as this long and curl from Herring Make. This is the one that I have right now. I'm currently using. And those that I bought, I talked about previously, was like a backup. Um, but I feel like 
<clears throat> this one, if you go on with uh, two coats or three coats, it gets the same effect. Um, yeah, but then again, I feel like it's more like a natural look because if you have to build this up, it will take some time. So give and take, up to you. Um, but I do feel like this one is a little more... It's easier to remove than this one is that I can use my cello a makeup remover to remove this. It comes out in... It's not clumps, but it, it just... When you you put it on and you kind of soak it a little bit and you remove it, I mean you still need to tuck a little bit because I haven't got any makeup remover, the oil base, and um, I didn't get the mascara remover then when I got this one. Um, yeah, so it came out. It came out like no when you remove it, it came out like in spots. So it doesn't. It didn't like so dissolved, but it kind of just breaks apart and then you can just remove it. So it's kind of okay and it doesn't smudge just around. So I think it's kind of good. Um, yeah, I think if I haven't tried this before, I would really like this. But based on ease of removing, maybe this one is easier. Um, and it's also quite waterproof in a sense. I haven't tried it in Singapore because in Japan it's quite dry. So maybe that's the reason why it still holds the color and it still didn't smudge to the under eye. So... Yeah, so I'm gonna see and report to you guys back how this one goes, but overall this one is quite nice. And after that, I got myself this, of course, I had to get this is mine. This is the color in brown black. I got this for myself. Then I got two L'Oreal lipstick. I wanted to get this in, like this is the leather back one, the leather version. So there's one color that I saw from a YouTuber, it is, I think, Natasha's Secret. And I really really wanted to try it, but they don't have that. So I got this two colors, it's 219 and 271. So 219 is this pink color which I'm not wearing as the base. Very very nice. Okay, and then 271 is more like a brick dark rose color. And then I also apply on the lips, in the part of the lips, and I blend them together. So, but I'm very very upset because I got that I purchased them at the same place and at the same spot. But this one is manufactured in 2018 April. It's been a year. It's been it's been manufactured and it is still selling it. Like what the hell? It could be. It should be on this count right now. And this one is freshly made. It is made in 2019 February. So I'm really upset because the reason why I notice it is because. This one, which is newly made, has L'Oreal embossed all over the lipstick body, but this one doesn't. So that's why I noticed the difference when I look at the expiry date, because I probably think that it could be because of the badge. True enough, I'm very upset about that, because I want my lipstick to be able to last as much as I can before I start using it, right? Last but not least, I got this. This is the Bisse Avant lipstick. When I swatch it, I know how I have to get it. So, Japanese are very well known for like the juicy, like glowy, lip balm, lip gloss type of lipstick. So, when I tried this, it was definitely more of like the creamy, can you see the shine, like type of lipstick. So, when I tried it, I was like, <sighs> but I love the colour so much. When I tried it, I was like, oh my god, I found love. So, I purchased this. This is in colour Tradition. And it is in the number 025. Yeah, I got it. And I love it. I tried it over there. Because it's so dry, it really feels very uncomfortable the lips. And you don't have to worry about um, moisturizing, moisturizing your lips that often anyway. So, I like it. It's this color over here. It's more like a peach nude as compared to the previous one. So, yeah. If you guys have to get one lipstick, I think get this one. Try it out. This one. It's, the color payoff is really good. Um, it's not super super balmy. It's balmy, but it doesn't look like super glowy, and it's actually quite opaque in color as well. So, and then lastly is this one. So my bag is really empty, but yeah, this is the last thing. So this is from I don't know how to pronounce this brand. It's called Atusais. So basically, this is the brand name. Um, they have a lot of good lip balm. Like they have lip balms that are very thick, and um, it's known to be quite good because it has SPF in it. Um, and then I tried, I tried it last time when I was flying, and um, it was really very thick. Um, but the thing is, I don't find it super good in a way because, um, how should I say it? I've used better ones and much cheaper ones as well. The one that I swear by is the one from the face shop. It's very very cheap. It's seven ninety Singapore dollars, 
and it really softens the lips, moisturize it deep into the lips. So the next day when you wake up, especially in very dry country, you don't feel like the dryness even after you remove it after you brush your teeth and stuff like that but this one I do feel that a little bit and probably because this one is the stick version so it's less um like moisturizing but I've tried the tube version which is it's too thick for my liking so I didn't purchase it I got the lip um the stick version this one is the lip essence treatment so basically this one is supposed to be better I think that the other two that it came out with so the tube version of this one the squeezy tube doesn't have SPF but this one has it has SPF 17 PA double plus so I think it's good especially when you wanted to use it um, and you know in the day because SPF just prevents pigmentation and kind of just protects the lips from getting you know extra fine lines I want to protect I want to stay youthful as much as possible so I got it so but I wouldn't say that it is super super moisturizing if you have chronic like very very dry lips I rather recommend you guys getting the face shop one is cheaper and whatnot um, and it lasts forever it's such a big tube that you know usually I use it every single day for one and a half years I still have it and it kind of turns a little bit funky and I throw it away and I get a new one the same things you know you just carry on like it's just forever and when you put it as a lip mask it <coughs> It's not oily, but it's not thick. You know, it feels good, like for that type of texture, type of moisturizing, you know, properties in it. I feel really good about it. Yeah, but um, so I got this one. I tried it. I feel it's okay. Um, yeah, if you need something that has SPF, get this one. I think so far among all SPF products I've used, this one is the best. So SPF lip balm, best to get from this brand. Because my sister used one from Nivea, and they had this white cast on her lips. It's horrible, especially when you have dry lips. So this one, it moisturizes, softens the lips. Um, but the moment you remove it, you feel the tightness. That's the bad thing. But that means it doesn't moisturize all the way into the lips. But then again, um, if you just wanted to have the protection of SPF on top and make sure that you don't feel the dryness and make sure that you have a little bit like a pouty lip, this one works the, works for you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that is bag number two. Last bag. Da -da -da. So this one I think I spent a lot of money. Really, really. Yeah. I spent a lot. Okay. So anyway, so the. I spent a lot it's because I got this item. This is from the brand called Albion. Um, and these are highly rave brands, okay? So, um, yeah, I have to get it. So the first one is this one. Everybody talks about this. This is their skin conditioner. Um, but you guys see this. I'm not sure you guys can see this. Uh, it's kind of like a little bit, yeah. Can you guys see this? So this symbol here, it's called Medicated U. So basically, I felt like, you know, when I say I was like, oh my god, is it medicated so I shouldn't be using it as often as I should? But no, it's actually usually to tell you that it is for sensitive skin because at the back they say it's toner for sensitive skin. So it can be used to like kind of balance your skin and all that. So I got the smallest version. And the reason why it turned out to be so expensive is because I didn't really register into my mind that um, how much was this items because this is 10,000 yen, which is about $125 thing. Okay, and this one because I first when I saw this, I thought it was gonna be expensive because a lot of people say that oh, this is expensive, you know, blah blah blah. But I checked the price, it was 3005. So I was like, okay, it's about $37, 38 about there. I was like, hey, it's actually reasonable. So I got this, the small one, to try because I've tried this kind of products before like SK2. SK2 is good. Like, if I use the first day, second day, three, third day, fourth day, I feel it's really good. It resurfaces the skin a little bit. It feels very nice, glowy. But if I continue to use it for like maybe on the seventh day, um, my skin gets a little bit acne prone. So, like, I pop one or two pimples. Um, so, I'm like, I have to stop. You know what I mean? So, I'm quite afraid of this. So, I bought the small version to try. And, you know, it was so small. <laughs> Look at this. But, okay, it's cute. Um, it's a very powdery scent, I feel like. Um, and it's very lightweight. When I first tried it out in stores, it feels really, really kind of just like comfortable type of thing. I didn't really notice any big difference at one go, but I wanted to try. So, the scent. Okay, some Japanese products, they are either non-scented or they are highly fragranced, so that's up to you. There's no like in-between, but um, I feel this is more like the more fragranced um, products, but I feel like, you know, if it's good for the skin, then I don't mind it. Yeah, so anyway, this is it, and then, um, yeah, I tried it yesterday and once um, before uh, when I was prepping for my makeup. Um, I do feel that after I use it, you know, like, it feels that your skin is very nourished. 
you know, I don't know how to say, you know, like when I put it on my back of my hands, it, it's like alright. But I put it on my palms to kind of pack it in. I feel the instant different when I touch it. It feels almost like rubbery. Like you feel like your fingers are like really, really moisturized. Yeah, and really, really smooth as well. So it's like, it's, it's a unique texture. You have to feel it for yourself. Um, so yeah, I tried this and well, I kind of like it. It's quite light. And then, um... And the weird thing is, you know, what the Essie told me is that you're supposed to use this first, after cleansing, first thing, and they use their lotion and whatsoever, blah blah blah, and lastly you use something like that, you know. So it's very weird because, the, you know, like, we have all got accustomed to, like, putting the lighter version first before putting the most heavy textured products as the last step, but they say this is their last one. But I'm not sure if I'm going to try that, so... Yeah, so that's a fun fact for you guys. Anyway... This one, this one is 10,000 yen, so expensive. Um, I used it yesterday once and this morning once again. Uh, this was the packaging. Um, it's very ugly, I don't like it at all. But the good thing about Japanese products is that I feel like they have things like refillable. You see this? So it's actually very kind of like environmental conscious. So I feel like it's good because although they use plastic and all that, right? But it actually kind of like reduces the uses and reduces the weight waste each i don't know I, I feel like it's a good thing you know it's, it's like for a better cause so anyway i used this one when i tried to install i felt like it was very very watery um and it felt like oh it's actually kind of good to just put it in front of any any skincare and you don't feel any type of like burden that you know it's going to be too heavy for my entire makeup or it's going to like um clash with all the products that i'm using um then when i tried it yesterday i'm very very shocked that this product is actually translucent it's not as watery as i kind of thought when i saw in the stores it's kind of like translucent um and it's this runny but it is not as runny as like watery essence they are slightly um slightly slightly viscous but when you were put it on your head, it was still kind of like drip sound. So yeah, I tried this um, and I felt like, well, um, I can't for sure say how good it is because I've already tried it twice, but I do feel like um, it doesn't kind of add on to the burden of like my skin. Like I felt like, oh you know, I'm putting too much products on my skin. So they do feel good and it's just an extra step. And this one is, what it's supposed to do is, it is supposed to kind of like, um, you know, fight off the free radicals, you know, the UV rays, and sometimes when time, climate changes, your skin is like trying to um, kind of get used to the warm climate, and you have like those imbalancing and everything, so this is supposed to help in that. So, I mean, if this can, oh, and also it is to help with the absorption of all the other products. It's very similar to the first essence from Soasu. So basically, it helps other products to absorb better into the skin. So, I mean, if I can use this and um, make sure that all other products work in synergy and it's all absorbed into skin, I'd rather use it. And also because it doesn't feel like, um, you know, very burdensome on the skin, like it's too suffocating or it's too thick or, you know, whatsoever. It's just very nice. It's just something like a toner that you put on and then you forget about it. So, yeah, I'm going to continue using this because it's highly raved. I'm going to use it. And I will check back with you guys on how this thing works. Yeah, then next, I got this. Another Taiwan YouTuber recommend this one. So I bought it. I There's two. There's this Foamy Rich Mousse and there's the Jelly version. I got this one because this is the one that she raved about. And I'm not sure if I can get so many arrows all on the flight. Um, yeah, especially when now I'm a passenger. So <laughs> I'm like, hmm, you know. So I bought this one and I tried and also they say that you know when you have very foamy cleansers, it cleans your pores better. So you know, I'm all for that. I'm gonna I'm not gonna be mad at that fact. So yeah, I got this one. All the prizes I think I'll leave it down below because it's easier that way. And I got this mask. So basically this is Lululun. I know a lot of people have really talked about this. It's like an everyday mask. The toner type of mask. Um, prep your skin just before your makeup, or you know, if you're really busy, put it on five minutes, you can throw it away. So, this is like the upgraded version. This one ranks number one in all the masks. So, I got this for my mom because she really like Lululun masks. So, yep, it's not expensive, it's actually okay. It's 500 yen. Yeah, next, I got this. So, this is also from DRP. This is like the um, double eyelid, like makeup glue kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I read a video i watched a video and they have like three talk about three like most popular one i <laughs> i took a photo i screenshot all three but i forgot which one is place number one based on the person's review so i just got this one because this is ranked like the first 
So and this brand I've good impression of it before so <sighs> it's quite expensive, yeah, quite pricey. Next, there is this is a Majorica Majorica Honey Essence Lip Balm. I bought this lip balm not because it's highly rave or not that it's like super moisturized and whatnot. I used to use their lip gloss, the honey lip gloss, and I love the scent so much. I love it so much, you know, and I'm kind of missing it. Innisfree used to have a lip balm too. They still have it now, but it's a reformulated version. The one before was more like a melty like clear type of like yellow honey lip balm. We apply it, it melts almost instantly and it feels really nice on the lips. The scent is also really really nice. It's like so much stronger than the one now. Now the texture is more balmy, more waxy and the scent is like significantly reduced so I don't really like it. So I'm like really like wanting to go back to the honey you know state. So I got this one because I wanted to smell. <laughs> so it's like that and it's bang. <sighs> it smells like it. I love it. Yeah, I bought this solely for the scent, you know, to just feel happy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, and also one, I, I, okay, I wanted to just like drift off a little bit. There's one like rose scent body spray from um, Lush, it's called Rose Jam. Oh, it smells so good, it smells like roses, but at the same time, it smells like honey. Like, it reminds me so much of the honey scent from Innisfree that I feel like buying it. <laughs> but I didn't, okay, oh well, something else. So this one's from D program. Um, basically, they have a lot. They are like widely advertised in the stores, um, and the one that is supposed to be advertised like strongly is the whitening one. But I thought, you know, um, since I have the kills like spot treatment thing, which is doing a very good job for whitening, I thought like you know why not try this one? So this is an acne care set. So this is a travel size with a emulsion and a lotion. The lotion is like a toner, and the emulsion is like the lotion type. So Toner, lotion, right? So they have two. So um, I want to try and see how it goes. It's 1,000 yen. So it's quite pricey for travel size, but um, and you know, they have this like again, this medicated use. So it's supposed to be for sensitive skin. So I, tr I thought, like, you know, why not? So I tried it. They have a lot of versions, like, they have different colors for different, like, moisture, um, like oil control, whitening, all in different colors and you choose like the one you wanted. And the full size one, I, I believe it was for whitening but this travel size one are the ones dedicated for several users. So I bought this and try. Yeah, then this is for me. The mascara remover. My mascara. And I bought this. This is a... Um, cotton pad. Um, apparently they say that this cotton pad, this particular one, actually absorbs half um, of the amount that usual cotton pads does absorb. So it actually kind of like, you know, maximize the users of your skincare product, especially if you're using expensive stuff. Um, and I bought one to try. It's quite expensive. It's about 189 yen, which is about $200. So it's about, um, I wanted to say about 250 for such a small box. Um, because actually for three dollars you can get a lot from Singapore's Watsons. Um, yeah, so you know, yeah, it's like that. Um, oh no, I think I get some from Muji. Did I? What did I not? Ah, oh, whatever. So, but the thing is, I feel like it's such a small box. You know how many boxes are supposed to kind of like stack up and buy if you're trying to stock it up in Japan. I believe there's a Biko box, but I, I, I just don't know how, you know, like, if I'm on, yeah, I didn't find it in the stores, they, they only sell this version, so, um, I'm, I'm, I'm confused, because, you know, like, so small, if I wanted to restock it, how many boxes should I buy? And it didn't tell me how many pieces are there, so, we shall see, yeah, and then, last but not least, Falsies. Um, I really like their falsies because their falsies are much lighter um, and they are shorter in length so you don't really trim so much. Yeah, and in the stores, this one looks really really long but now that I look at it again, it looks pretty short. So, yeah, but actually this is from Diop. So, um, their eyelashes are really good. They're quite expensive. They're 750 sing each. There about I think yeah because it's fifteen dollars I think um, so yeah it's definitely cheaper than your velour lashes or you know um, I don't know Huda Beauty lashes but um, they are thinner and yeah I think they're quite expensive for me yeah I don't know because 
Usually I don't feel like I can get a lot of uses because they are so thin, right? They kind of get a little bit weird after two to three uses and you have to throw it away. So it's quite expensive for me because I don't feel like I get a lot of uses out of each pair. But I still get it because I feel like it is still cheaper to get it in Singapore, okay? <laughs> so yes, I got one just to, you know, not to try, just to put it on if I feel like it and yes, so this is the end of my Japan haul 1 cosmetic version um and yeah if you guys are wondering what earrings am i wearing this i got from japan they are really really nice they are like little bunnies and these bunnies have blue eyes oh so cute they are quite expensive they're 32 sing dollars but you know it's like a craft thing so i got it yeah so um, i hope this video you know let you guys know like um have an idea on what to buy if i'm going to japan and um yeah, and if you guys wanted to see how it really do, or how did all the products perform, then wait for a um, update video, probably in a month because I wanted to really try every products, especially skincare products, to really give you guys an exact or a more accurate um, opinion. But I hope you guys it helps you on what you want to get and um, you know like what's on your wish list, etc. So um, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye.